experienced true joy, like real joy. Think about that moment for a second. I love to think about um, this is actually joy on someone else's behalf, which I think has a lot of power in its own. I think about um, when I was living in Jordan, I felt very far away and disconnected from my family. I lived there for about three years, just out of college, like fresh out of college. And um, my brother-in-law ended up having a business trip um, he worked for Intel, and Intel had partners in Israel. He had a business trip to Israel, so I went and met him just across the border from Jordan in Israel for the weekend. My friend and I went and met him and hung out with him all weekend. And while he was there, he told me that my sister was pregnant, and they wanted to tell. I'm like <laughs> tearing up with joy thinking about it now. Like he wanted to, they wanted to tell me in person, so I could have the experience with them of this human connection of this joyful moment that we as a family were sharing even though we were so far away. And I remember being like so overjoyed for them, but also so overjoyed that I could share that with them. And that actually reminds me of our verses for today is um, from Luke 1, 36 to 37. And this is about Mary. And um, uh, this is what the angel tells Mary when he's um, with her. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age, and she who is said to be unable to conceive is in her sixth month, for no word from God will ever fail. And just like, it's like that in-person moment of literally nobody in the world except Elizabeth and her husband who had been um, rendered mute <laughs> knew that Elizabeth was pregnant. And Mary doesn't hear it like, you know, third hand down the road because her cousin's cousin's cousin told her. She heard it straight from the, literally the angel's mouth. This good news, this amazing joyful moment that even in her like joy and fear that she's uh, just learning that she's carrying the savior of the world in her womb. She learns this joyful news about her cousin who's been longing for a baby for her whole life. And so from there, Mary actually went and spent time with Elizabeth together and they got to rejoice in this good news together. And it just makes me think in this Advent season, what does it look like for us to rejoice with those who are rejoicing? Who in your life could benefit from hearing your good news? Like what good news can you revel in with somebody else like Mary did with her cousin Elizabeth at this amazing good news? Elizabeth had been too old to conceive and here she was conceiving and not just as Mary finds out later, not just any old baby, John the Baptist who is prophesying and making the way for Jesus the Lord. And so the two women got together and got to praise God together and support and love each other in that. And every time I read that story, I think of my brother-in-law showing up on my side of the world, telling me this good news that I got to rejoice in with them. And so this Advent season, how do we carry this good news of Jesus um, in such a way that it's joyful news, not just for us, but for the people around us? Even if you can think of it, think of one person who could, who, could benefit from hearing this joyful news today and go and share it.